Welcome to History Bedtime Stories. Tonight is night number 64. We're in bed in our pajamas, and tonight let's talk about one of the weirdest names in all of sportsdom, the Detroit Red Wings. Now, the Red Wings don't start out in the city of Detroit, and they don't start out with the name Red Wing. In fact, they start as the Victoria British Columbia Cougars. The team is sold on September 26, 1926, to become the franchise here in Detroit. And from 26 to 1930, the team plays as the Detroit Cougars. And they are mediocre, average, not great. The team's play is so poor that a name change is devised for the 1930, 31, and 31, 32 seasons. They become the Detroit Falcons. Now the Falcons continue with the streak of poor play and eventually the team is sold in 1932 to Canadian American businessman James E. Norris. Now Norris had been trying to buy the team for a while. In fact, he was an original bidder back in 1926 when Detroit was awarded a franchise, but he got outbid. Now, three years into the Great Depression, he is one of the people who's managed to hold on to some of his money, and he's actually able to buy the team for less than he had bid for it just five years earlier. He brings not only great players into the team, increasing the budget for salaries, but he brings in a really strong management team, and the decision is made that they need a new name. They need to wipe the slate clean, get rid of those bad memories and poor play, and Norris comes up with naming the team after a amateur athletic association team he played on in Montreal, Quebec, the Montreal Winged Wheelers. The Winged Wheelers were founded in 1884 and were actually the first team to ever win a Stanley Cup, but they had to turn down the championship to maintain their amateur status. Norris has an affinity for his old team and decides the ringed Winged Wheelers, it's very hard to say, would be a great name for Detroit because the wheel and the obvious automotive motor city connotation really fits. He wants to keep the team's original colors though, which have always been red and white. We were the red and white Cougars, we were the red and white Falcons, and now we would be the red and white Detroit Red Wings. The Detroit Red Wings logo is actually one of the least changed logos in all of sports. It has only been changed twice. The original change from the Falcons to the Red Wings, and then in the 1940s, a slight change to the logo's design and tilt of the wheel. Today, the Red Wings remain one of the most winning teams in all of sports history, and we, of course, have the nickname Hockey Town. But just four years after the name change, the Detroit Red Wings win their first Stanley Cup in 1936 and repeat the following year in 1937. I hope you are enjoying History Bedtime Stories. Give us a like down below. Give us a share with that little button and wash your hands. We'll see you tomorrow night.